we talk about how valuable WikiLeaks is. I, don't, I actually don't think that's accurate. I would use the word essential because when we live in a world where you have, um, you know, I, I mean, I think Chris Hedges said something like this. I'm paraphrasing him, but he, he said, you know, we live in a world where uh, our news organizations hate journalism uh, or something exactly. to that effect. And he's absolutely right. I mean, a lot of the stuff you see, and now granted, the corporate media has such a large, wide umbrella um, there are some pieces of good work that slip through the cracks. It's just inevitable that something like that will happen. So it's not really interesting to, to dissect everything that gets published in a single day. But as a whole and structurally, um, there is a blatant conflict of interest, one and one on one, going on with these organizations to the point where the bulk majority of what they amplify for the people is not news, it is public relations. It is, it is by the book public relations, it is by the book propaganda. Whether it's something that helps the war machine, whether it's something that helps oil and gas, which is a lot of what they put out there, they ignore every social movement. Um, you know, you, you go on MSNBC and you see Rhodes Scholars pretend to not understand net neutrality. Why do they do that? Because Comcast signs their paycheck. Um, you know, you can go down and then look at every single, for instance, when we live in a world where most our major news organizations, the one that still have the power and the largest microphones, are PR agencies, literal PR agencies. I mean, the media structure in the United States is so disgusting. And, you know, and I studied this stuff in college. That's part of what led me to, you know, whatever I am now. <laughs> like, that's part of what led me to all this. Um, you know, like I studied the media reform movement. I studied the media structure. Um, we have gotten more disgusting than I ever could have anticipated. And I dedicated my entire academic life to studying this stuff. And, you know, I find it interesting, um, incredibly interesting, but it's also incredibly destructive. And, and you know, you, you look at other countries, you look, you look at the UK, you look at Canada, um, their media structures certainly have their problems. I'm not here to say the BBC is perfect or the CBC is perfect. They're not, they're far from it. But comparatively speaking, what we've done in the United States, um, I think is just repulsive beyond comprehension. It is poison to the idea of democracy. 